cataractcoach.com. Do whatever you need to do. It's okay to use whatever technologies you need to make you a good surgeon. So here's a case. You can look carefully. What's the subconscious number hemorrhage? Well, that's from a femtosecond laser. Now look. Looks like a subtenon's block. So a little bit of subconj as well, but the anesthetic. You need to get the can a little bit further back. You know what? There's a great video on cataractcoach.com, how to do a subtenon's block. I bet you'd learn a lot if you watched it. But anyway, let's get back to our case here. So now we see... Femtosecond laser has been done. Oh, some fluorescein dye with three pairs and TCs. Okay. Now, the dye helps to stay in the cornea so you can find those three pairs and TCs. You got three of them. Okay. A little tri- well, tripan blue dye, though you already have a capsulotomy from a femtosecond laser, but okay, the dye is all right. And now, again, I'm giving you permission. Do whatever you need to do to have a good case. And so in this patient's situation, oh, a traction suture. Now I'm watching the video for the first time with you in this anonymous video. We've got some sort of probably like a big silk 6050 silk suture with a limbal suture there as a traction suture to help keep that primary. But if you have a good sub-tenons block, you already achieve akinesia. So not sure this is totally necessary. Now, okay, you've got three pairs and TCs. You've got a capsulotomy already made with the femtosecond laser. A fourth entry into the AC. That's a lot of paras, but hey, I'm giving you permission. You do what you got to do. A sort, some sort of groove here. And now making an incision there. Um, okay. So you got a main incision done. Here's the forceps. You just kind of grab that capsule, pull it out. Okay, fair enough. Let's see the hydrodissection. So a little bit of hydrodissection. And again, we've sped the video up to 3x normal speed. We just want to show you the whole case. Now, this is what one surgeon, whoever he or she may be, needs to do to achieve a good case. And that's okay. We're all different parts of the learning curve here. And that's perfectly fine. Now, in the last 10,000 surgeries, have I used a traction suture? No, not really. No, I haven't. So I don't know if it's really necessary for all surgeons, but if it's necessary for you, I don't mind. There's a, a wick there a wick there to pull out fluid from the surface of the eye. Now, what are we doing here with the traction suture? Um, maybe re, retying it? I, I presume the patient already has some systemic anesthesia on board too. So you've got topical anesthesia, you've probably got intracameral anesthesia. You've got a sub block, plus you've got this traction suture. There's a little bit of dancing around here. Maybe the patient's moving. You never know. And we're getting going, I guess. And let's see what we got next. So, hmm, just I'm like you, I'm waiting. I'm trying to see what's going to happen. Here you go, Faco probe. All righty. Here comes the Faco probe. Not sure where the settings are. And it looks like a groove down the middle. Well, partial groove pulling out of the eye. More viscoelastic. And fake a pro back in the eye. I like that technique of using the chopper to lift the incision. And now groove down the middle. Groove, groove, groove. A little bit more. Okay. We're going to crack. Hey, look at that. That's a pretty good crack. All right. I like that. A little bit of a, maybe a chop there. Got a little tiny quadrant out. I like it. It's a good job here. Here comes another piece coming out. And another, yep, there we go. Now you got a hemi-nucleus left in the bag. Rotate that around. You could probably use a femtosecond laser also to help kind of make these, these pieces for you, right? If you're going to use the femtosecond laser for the capsulotomy, you can also kind of divide the nucleus up for you. Hey, look at that. Nice and easy. Pretty good. Did I tell you about the cataractcoach.com podcast? We got the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. You got to check it out. It gives you the secrets to success in your future. We interview surgeons who have faced the same challenges as you, and you can learn from them. It really is that amazing. I promise if you listen to the Catacoach podcast, you will be an absolutely more successful and better ophthalmologist in your future. Check it out. Email me and you tell me, hey, you were right. Now, getting back here. Now we're doing cortex removal. Again, we sped the video up to 3x normal speed. Coming out pretty easy. Good cortex removal. I like that. So let's take a look at what else we got here. So this is a tough case now. Look at all the things we've done to help. We've got... A femtosecond laser with a subconch hem, the hemorrhage there. We've got the sub block. You've got one, two, three, four paracentesis. You've got a traction suture. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. You've got some tripe, no, no, some fluorescein dye to help you see the paras. 
There's the Iowa in the caps for bag. It looks pretty good. Page is going to be pretty happy. Let's remove some viscoelastic. Are we going to go behind the lens? We're Page is dancing around or surgeon dancing around. Not sure what, but there's a lot of dancing going on here. Maybe maybe you're playing music. If you play music in the OR, Page is going to shake their head like, you know, dance to the beat. So I don't play any music. I once did this case many years ago, and the patient kept shaking his head. I said, what are you doing? He says, I'm just enjoying the music. And I was like, okay, no more music. Now, getting back to our case here. Ah, good job going behind the lens for viscoelastic removal. Listen, whoever you are, anonymous surgeon, I want to applaud you. You know, you're doing your best surgery. You're putting in your best effort. It took a lot of extra steps here, and that's okay. Again, we fed the video up. Sped the video up by 3x. This is about a 20-minute cataract. So that's okay. That's where you are in your learning curve. But I think you'll continue to improve. And just ask yourself, what can you eliminate from this? Did you need the traction suture? Did you need the sub tenons block? Did you need the femtosecond laser? Did you need one, two, three, four paracentesis? You know, just think about it. And result, though, for the patient, it's a nice outcome. So I can't complain. So my advice to you is, as a surgeon, do what you need to do. If you need to do this step or the other step or add in more step, do whatever it takes to achieve a good outcome here. And at the end, a little fluorescein check, even a bear care tonometer to check the IOP, hey, end result is a nice outcome for the patient. Remember, check out that Cat and Coach podcast every week, a brand new podcast. The sole purpose is to make you a more successful surgeon.